Hello everyone, we're all good. Big thank you to everyone out there who likes, shares and comments on this channel. I'm in Nottingham City Centre. I'm going to check this place out. I've never been here before, so we'll see where the day takes us, eh? See what content we can come up with. I've got a feeling I'll be coming across some scatty kick-offs here in the city centre. This mad comes from the craft here, look. Are you police? No, I'm not. Promise? Trust me, I promise you. What does that mean? Is that my nan, she had stage four cancer. She died, I wasn't on the tenancy. Yeah, she was my only link to Nottingham. Yeah, they'd rather house foreign people than help people who were born here. I'm trans, I get abused every day walking down the street. I've ended up drinking. I've ended up with a tablet problem. Yeah. So what's your addiction problem? Tablets. Tablets. You've got some kind of conjunctivitis? Yeah, yeah, I've got viral conjunctivitis at the minute. They want me to go to I casually have contacted my doctors they want me to go up, but obviously I'm more busy trying to fucking numb myself. Is that what you're doing on a daily basis, just yeah. trying to escape the feelings? It's my land I grew up in foster care and with my land. My mum was a prostitute, my nan was a prostitute. I am now. So how old are you? 28. 28. And you're on the streets? You're homeless? Mm, yeah. I can see you're upset there. You're OK? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. Yeah, just trying to touch a few feelings there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we need to... Uh, we need to go within to see what's going on, you know what I mean? Mm. I feel those feelings because I can see that you... You know, you're upset. I'm all right, I'm all right, man. Done. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay to feel, you know, it's okay to, to not be okay. I get that. The thing is, I come off a section, a section three in January, I got no help. I ended up in prison in, in, in April for, for shoplifting because I was homeless. And then they released you homeless. Well, that's not to me. The police? Yeah, but they're off of you. They've gone that way, don't worry. Right. Yeah, look. Well, so, I'm on the verge of killing myself. You're on the verge of killing yourself, you said? I've got to think about it every day, like, what's the point of Waking up to have to do things that goes against your character just to numb yourself so you don't feel like killing yourself. What drugs are you on? Pre-gabbling. Are you gambling? Is that the, the drug of choice up here? No, no, it's like smacking crack a man, but innit? I'm just on like really strong painkillers and alcohol. So what are you gonna be doing for the rest of the day? What are you gonna do with yourself? Are you gonna get yourself something to eat? Find yourself somewhere to sleep? I don't know, I'm gonna go work on Forest Road on the night and then stay at man's house. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know why it's on the night. So. Well, I don't like doing that either. What, 
What part of Notre Dame are you from? I'm getting visually recorded. Not oh. police, are you? <laughs> Have you ever seen a busy with half of the year? Well, where's this going? What's it for? It's for my channel. It's YouTube. I'll show you it in a minute. Yeah. Right, so it's not him. I'm not far from a busy. Yeah. Right. Right, look. I'll get on it with you. I am far from a police officer, trust me. Yeah. I've been in prison for most of my life. I've been addicted to heroin and crack cocaine. Yeah, I used I'm to speed ball. Now. Right? I'm on crack right? Now. So you're no different from me, apart from, you know, you're a trans and I'm not. That's yeah. it. That's the only difference. You know what I mean? The thing is, it all started with, with me not being able to walk down the street without getting abused. Yeah. And that's how it started with taking things. Because you couldn't cope with the feelings? Because I couldn't cope, walk, like walking down the street every day, getting looked at, laughed at, stare. That's, that's not nice. Uh, it happens every day, every day. It, it just happens every day. I just want to say thanks for your time, you know. Thank you, it's all right. And I hope, you, hope you're there. Uh, you're OK and things get a little bit better for you. Yeah, they will. There is help out there if you look for it. I know, I'm trying. Thanks for your time. Thank that sand's there. It was in a bad way. It's a leaking pure green push from her eyes. Shout out to she. How upset he was. It's fucking the nature of the beast, isn't it? Well, this is Nottingham's Crimbo Market. Well, this is St Peter's Church. This is where some of the homeless sleep at night on the, on the grounds, I believe. Uh, there's a little tent there. No wheelchair. See that for Mark, eh? Get on that. Stash this wheelchair. Someone under that. You all right, mate? Is that your wheelchair? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah, I'm all good. Do you fancy a little chat? Uh, no worries, my mate. Thank you. Look at that poor fella there, he's got a span of biffy there. Sleeping on his wheelchair. A little bit of cover over him. Just grateful it's not air. It's not that cold and it's not, you know, raining. It's just wet. And that's a little bit of a saving grace, I suppose. You think they'd let him in this church, though? <laughs> Nicola, who gave you that black eye, kid? Dean Earl. Dean Earl? Yeah. What over? Fuck off, he took her in the fucking prem as he pan. He's took it out on me all the time. Then he's been slashed on his face and he's turned around at me, arrested, but he turned around and says, please, the ice fucking slashed him. I was not, didn't slash him. Some lads slashed him, five lads slashed his face. So to get me back, he turned around and said, I slashed him. So I got arrested and I've been in the police station for two nights, so I had him done. Have you know he just got out? Just now today. But so I haven't done. I would never ever stab anybody else. You know what I mean? No matter how she bashes me, I've never ever pulled a knife on him or anything. I'm not like that. Do you know what I mean? He'd only been stabbed before that, he'd been stabbed before that because he got cheesed people in town. So they fucking turned around and said, when you get here, so he got off, he got away from home, and he'd end up having a razor blade in his hand. So then I've said, I, don't, I want to go into London Road because that's where I live. I can't lose my place in London Road. I want to get a house, do you know what I mean? I've been there, been there four months now, I want to get a place. He's telling me to give it up, so I don't... He's telling me what to be ever. I don't want to have no friends, I don't want to have anything. He just wants to lock in it. 
Look me in doors and do that for me. So where do you go now, Nicola? On the road. Down there? Down to the road, mate. What's, what's, what, what goes on down there? I'm in a hostel. Is there a hostel up there? Yeah. Yeah. They're moving me up to here tomorrow, though. So how far is it? Um, do you know where um, the Crown Court is? I don't know anywhere around here. This is my first time in nothing. It's all down there. Then you, as you go through the broad marsh, it's the right and there's this court. So if you go, do you know where the BBC Centre is? Yeah, I've seen that when I drove in, yeah. BBC Centre, right across the river there. Is that where you're going now? Yeah, that's where I'm going. But tomorrow, they, um, on Monday, they move, which is tomorrow. They move me to a new place. And keep, that's... keep out of them socks with relationships, girl. I'm not going to bother them. I'm staying on my own. It's like, it's like, a, it's like something out of West Side Story, this. I don't know going to be on my own. I'm scared of being on my own. Sometimes you're better off on your own. Look at what's happened. You've had your head punched in. It's nothing. I can achieve it. I know, I see that. Look at that, it's terrible. We'll teach you on the brain, you know. You know, if you're sitting in the wrong place, it'll kill me. Let's get you some tissue. You're only 48, aren't you? Let's see what I've got in here. Let's get some for you, right? Yeah, 48, 30, I've got fucking six grandkids. Six grandkids and four kids. Start thinking about them now. I try to. You know what he tells me? The best thing to do in my head. Well, get rid of them. Yeah, because they're in Cumbria. Get your hair done. Because they're in Cumbria. Get some makeup on. Because they're in Cumbria, I tell Seriously? Me. Get your shit together. Come on, Nicola. I don't just have a slag and a slut on this. Ah, what? Who's asked? I can't even wear leggings. Terrible, that. Coming to get away from all you thought you got all kids. These are here. Yeah. Are they all in bed there? No, not there. Nah, someone's sleeping in there, you know. Someone's sleeping in there, aren't they? Yeah. Are they both sleeping in? Do you know You're fine. There's people in every door, so you never come at night time. You'll find in every shop doorway there's somebody sleeping. Is it? It's sad, that, isn't it? But you know what? They've got places open. They've got um, a manual house open. Yeah. And they've got a fire station open. But you know, they keep you in after 9 o'clock. You've got to stay in after 9 o'clock. So they, people aren't going to do that. Do you know what I mean? Have you seen me? So I mean, everybody takes it out of me because of the music. What's happened there, Nicola? Oh, boy, that in all sorts of shit you can make What have you done wrong there? Fuck no, it's too early. No, I don't know. Well, don't tell me you're going to fucking... Just keep away from everyone and then don't you won't have any issues. Do you know what's though? When you tell you're going to give him something, don't give it to me. He told him he's going to yeah. give him a pair of trainers, mate. I had to walk him around with a pair of crocs on. He said, I'll give you a pair of trainers. You've been saying it for days and days and days, for weeks and weeks and weeks, you get for a change. Uh-uh. So you're not going to be happy about it, are This all over the pair of crocs? Ah, this is madness. <laughs> and when you're in them structured the relationships, them chemical romances, you know, it'll never end well. If one wants recovery and the other doesn't, then you're fucked. Everybody's always got a tale to tell. I read up on a guy called Mark Martins. Nottingham's first serial killer. You know, I think he turns up in Nottingham from, I can't remember where it was from, 2004. Ended up killing three prostitutes and burying them. Somewhere over here. His nickname was Reds. If Reds was about one part of town, you'd make sure you were on the other side. You know, it states because he was a bad bully. You know, he claims to be homeless, but he was bullying the homeless and, you know, people who were vulnerable, alcoholics, addicts. Till eventually, you know, he killed three, three prostitutes. So Reds, Mark Martin, Nottingham's first serial killer. I never knew that. There you go.
What's happening? Febreze. What's that? What's happening, Febreze? You alright, lad? How are you? This is the underpass, it seems a little bit uh, moody down here, like to be fair. The south end, don't worry my mate, I won't get you on. The south end. Toxliff? Yeah man. Ten stars are about. Done with this guy, and you know what his name is? Amazing, <laughs> right? I've just been asking him how he feels about walking under this underpass. He said 50 50, right? 50 50. It's a nice walk sometimes, like this, when yeah. you get nobody. But then when you get a lot of people, you it because they're, they're like chav. They're on the child side, so it's like you, you do get scared sometimes because you, you, you might think they're going to come at you or not. But then it's like a little unpredictable, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. You can't. That's what you can't really. It's not that you're, you're scared of them. No, it's just no, that it's just that they'll just pounce on you. Yeah, they'll <laughs> they'll just do it. But knowing that there's the the that the university there is still yeah a of like uh, safety net safety net yeah but it's amazing. Yeah. Take care, brother. Yeah, Thanks. Have a lovely one. And you too, Tara. We're not going to lights here. Notre Dame is a very scatty area. You know, there's a few psychopaths running about this city. Quite dangerous, but it's all over the place. They're everywhere. And they're all looking at you. No one wants to go on camera. It's just a few. They're all doing their thing. That guy down there with Sarah, who appears to be another trans. He told me before there's a lot of nutty cats down here, including himself. So am I. As soon as he had the scout shark said to it, Liverpool! <laughs> Still, that's not fucking gonna make me bulletproof, is it? Oh, well, stab proof. This is the score on points, look. He's just up in the hand. Waiting for a drop off. He's got no idea they're all on the right there. Cameras everywhere. Sabo, you'll be made up that they use cardboard down here. It's a great insulator. Get yourself down to eye crack if you want to pipe in Nottingham. Opposite St. Peter's Church.
Yes. He's all right, lads. It's Senna. No, it's working. How's your help? Can you plug it in? In there, can I book this? Where are you taking it? I was taking it to CEX. Where are you going, where are you going now? Where are you going? I was just going to go to CEX with it. What, I didn't want now? a tenner for it. It works, it's got a remote. They'll take it off you. Yeah, you're having it. Better chance here. You've got a better chance in CEX. Alright, man. Cheers, isn't it? Alright, my mate. You're okay? Do you know him? Hidden Swan's Yard. Can I ask a question of you guys? What are you all about? Let's have a little look. It's uh, something together about the uh, yeah, well, against war. I'm doing a blog, a blogging life in general, so I was just curious. Against war and occupation for peace and equal rights in Israel, Palestine. Who are you? I'm Billy Moore. I'm just recording for yeah. every day vlog or two. Uh, videos up and down the country, so I'm just curious as to what you are doing. Well, we've been doing this for um, a year. What's so, it about? It, well, it's about the war in, uh, in Gaza and now in Lebanon. <laughs> you can look up the... Uh, we are friends of... Standing Together, which is an organization of um, Palestinian and Jewish Israelis in Israel, so we are the friends of in other countries. Okay. Uh, and if you look up their website, it will yeah. tell you quite a lot about Standing Together. Okay, thank you. <coughs> My name's Mark. So Mark. Got a bit of Mark. Mark, in your opinion, right, what do you believe silent protest does? Um, nothing. I think it's a complete waste of time, like I've just told you. Yeah. I talk to my mates about it. I talk to people at work. You see it, I'm, you see it where I live in the moment, in Derby. Yeah. And I just think people just like to be seen doing something, but really it don't make no difference to me at all. Now, if he was over there doing it or something like that, yeah. or yeah, it's you know, if you've got a problem with the government, go outside the government, go outside, I don't know, parliament or do it. Do you know what I mean? You've just got to look at the average age group there, haven't you? Yeah. All pensioners give a take. I know. <laughs> it says a lot, doesn't it? It's us really. It's like, nothing else to do. I don't know. I suppose they may feel good about doing something. I don't, I don't yeah, really know. I, I get it. I do get it. But I don't understand. They might feel something like they're achieving something, but I don't know. I don't see how they're, what they're achieving. No, me, neither, I mean? me neither. Me neither. Me neither. But Mark, can I get you in camera here? You want right? Yeah, go on, mate. Nice meeting you, Billy. Mark. Mark. You're a Liverpool supporter. No. Oh. Everton. Everton. You're good. Well, you. We drew yesterday, like, but. Yeah. At you home, for t with 10 men. You're terrible. the only team that's never been relegated from Division 1. Did you know that? You did know that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but we're close. <laughs> yeah, you were close a few seasons back, weren't you? Good season, mate. Mark, take care. Yeah, I totally agree with Mark then. It's like. That kind of process is doing absolutely nothing. I give up now. On what they even think they're doing. Anyway, moving on. What's that, my mate? Try, um, I'm basically sleeping off the last night tonight. Yeah. I'm trying to get an old eight tomorrow and a hot drink tomorrow morning I'm just trying to sell that for like seven pounds. What is it? It's a power bank, charges the phone like four or five times and they've got fast charge cables with it as well. It all works, everything. You trying to sell it whether you want to cash converters? No, they don't buy it. You're on the streets are you? Yeah. I know How ID. old are you? I'm thirty. Thirty? No way la. What's your name? My name my name's Stephen. Stephen, you're on the streets? Yeah. You're struggling, what are you using? Um, I do use a bit of crack now and again, yeah. but that's only because of my fucking stress. I like would love, I would love to use a bit of crack now and again. <laughs> Seriously, I couldn't, I couldn't stop when I was using. But I'm not. I was right. smoking pebbles all day long. How do you do it? Can't. 
hard. It is. You've no Stevens, 30. You've been on and off the streets for how long, did you say? About 14 years on and off. Yeah. Yep. What's keeping you on the streets, lad? To be honest, what's keeping me on the street is... 50% myself kind of thing. Yeah. But to be fair, I've already been in touch... Say, I'd say 99% yourself, to be fair. <laughs> fair right. It, outreach, I've been in contact with them. Yeah. But they're kind of like telling me I need to tell them where I'm at a certain time, but I can't. I can't. Look, like, forgive me for saying this, right? Like, because I'm not brand new and the rapper, right? I've been up and down the length and breadth of this country, right? Yeah. Right. So there's always an excuse. Yeah. Because I was the I was the king of excuses. Yeah. It was I was the king of procrastinating, putting things off. I can't do this. I can't do that. Right. The reality is, if you want to get your shit together, Stephen, right, mm. you will. Yeah. Come on. Right. True. Now I'm not here to tell you what to do, where no, to go. True. I'm just giving you a bit of information. Yeah. You know what I mean. So. You're 30. Is this what you want to do for the rest of your life? No. Walking up and down these city streets? No, I don't. Begging for a pound note? No sleeping way. in doorways? No way. You don't do your lad? No. I wish I was 30. <laughs> I share, I, seriously, I wish I was. Right. Now, what can you do differently? I can see it in your eyes, lad. I can see that you're hurt. Don't know, really. You've had enough, haven't you? You're not happy. You can't be. Yeah. What about your family? I'll get there. My dad's fucked off to Scotland with another woman who's got some land. And fucking... My mum, bless her, she works three times a day, so I don't really have time to see her. But love her to bits. She loves me to bits. Just my brothers. You know what, lad? Take care of yourself and, and have a good little think. You know when you get your head down tonight? Yeah, have a little think. Have a little think about this chat, you I know? will, mate. Yeah. Because I've been there. Yeah. And there's a way out. There is, but you've got to make that happen. I want to say thanks for your time. Thank you, you I'm not going to lie. I bought that Hello Kitty fucking power pack off him. Big purple thing. I'm coming, Andy. That's an old school pub, the Rose of England. He's definitely into Oasis, isn't he? I haven't seen any men in sight yes, uh, since I've been in Nottingham. This is the land of Robert Hood. Sherwood Forest is on the outskirts. Maybe one time we'll go up there. Check that out. He's always got a story. Is that your tent? You live in your own Yeah, over six years now, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm moving to Europe as soon as I've got the money to France. She was very uh, different from the other almost there. Uh, you know, usually come across. She's getting out of the UK and heading to Europe. She's uh, she's doing the right thing there. But this is a jump. Check out Snoop Dogg here. He's pimping someone else, you are, lad? Yeah. You are a brilliant looking character, right? I'm making my mind up where to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, be going down to Chicago. I'm going to introduce you to Chris. Now, Chris is the longest serving homeless person on the streets yeah. of Nottingham. How long have you been on the streets? About 30 years. 
thirty years. So you yeah. remember? Uh, I, I was there before framework. I was there before all the services. Was you? Yeah. There were more help then than there is now, and there were no services. Yeah. People so you, have changed. Yeah. You remember that guy called Reds? Yeah. Brad Martins was his name. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. He killed my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm a baby. Yeah, and set him on fire near London Road. Yeah. Yeah. And he killed loads of other people on him as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. Was he a bad bully? That was bad, yeah. He was, yeah. He didn't even have to be homeless, I believe. He weren't homeless, he wasn't. Just going round, he taking... He just went round killing the homeless, yeah, and shit. Yeah. And then cut them open and set them on... Well, he did with my girlfriend, you know. He raped her, strangled her, and as he was cutting her open to see what the baby looked like inside, unborn, yeah. And that was she yours? He woke up, yeah, so they sent, her to, sent his mate, Dean Carr, to the garage for some petrol. And while she was awake, chipped in the fucking stomach, open stomach, and set my baby and my girl on fire inside out. Absolutely. That's what he did, yeah. And he got caught for it, so. Bastard. Oh. And I had to go all the way through courts, all the way through everything, and still be on the fucking street, and I still have got no help. Yeah, man. You'd think they'd give you help then, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Nah, they didn't get no help. They don't give you no help. They're full of shit. They just take money, take money, take money. Yeah, the framework, and they don't do shit. So do you think you've just resided to the fact that you're just going to stay on the streets till you die? Yeah, well, yeah. Because yeah. what's the fucking point? Because they ain't, they ain't doing no. I'm here every day. They still what, ain't done no. What's your name? Chris Fracken. Chris, was you born in 1973? Four. So you're the same age as me, give it to you? Yeah, man. You know, 50, yeah, we'll be about... The bullseye? Back. You're at the huh? bullseye? <laughs> That's it, half, half century. That's it. Do you want to say, I just want to say thanks for your time, you know. You're quite welcome, God bless, man. Appreciate that. I'm sorry to hear what happened with your girlfriend. It's... It happens, man. But that's... you don't expect it to happen like that, do you? No, that's, that's horrific. That's, that's beyond. Man, yeah, you just don't get over shit like that, you know what I mean? Always there. It's a high place in that country, fucking hell. Anyway, yo, nice to meet you. And bro, you yeah. too, my mate, yeah, thank thanks you. for everything, yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. Big shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel, by the way. It means a lot. While I've been trudging up and down the length and breadth of the country. Being in the calories, getting home with short feet. It was like March, trust me. That's just for your benefit. So thanks for watching. It means so, so much. Take care.